Okay, so we're back for another time. So I figured out that uh, when I did a video before this, I still, I put seven and a half gallons in this. Still had no fuel pressure and still run empty. Well, I went around the, the, the car and for some reason the fuel pump was unplugged. So let's try this again. Okay, so see now we have, now we got fuel. Okay, so. Now it's cycling the pump a few times. Okay, now I hear the pump cycling. So, now I need to check my fuel rail and all the stuff for fuel leaks because, uh, well, I thought I had fuel pressure before, so. Let's see here. Any leakage? No, nope, this bank is good. Okay. Uh, fuel. Oh, I got some coolant leakage over here. Um, not really sure what is leaking though. Um, unless that's from last night from <laughs> sitting before I did my clamps. That could be. Um, other than that though, I do not see any fuel leaks so they don't smell any either so hopefully uh hopefully she's all right let's see what she does um it is open headers by the way oh man all right well let's let her rip tater chip kicking okay she's kicking though so it's a good thing She's kicking. A few more fuel pump cycles, maybe she'll fire up. Also, because I let my bullet, uh, well, Mach 1 shift knob. It's got a T45 tranny, so I put in a um, Steeda Tri-X, and then uh, this off the Mach 1. Okay, so she's very close to one. Hopefully, that's just air in the line, and hopefully she'll find out. Sorry for that stupid noise, my Bluetooth thing. Let me see if I can turn this Bluetooth off quick. Excuse the, uh, sorry, excuse the camera ing. Bluetooth off. Okay, that stupid dinging should be gone now. Yeah, I'm not sure why the coolant temp is at halfway because it shouldn't be. Um, we'll have to look into that, but we'll just keep cycling her a few times because it's been empty for a while. Let's see what she does now. Um, I mean, she's kicking and farting and spitting and sputtering, so I got to think she wants to fire up. Um, she's getting there. I mean, it's got new plugs, it's got new coils, new, new, all new fluids in it. Um, I know this video is very, very long, so if you are still here with me, thank you. Um, hopefully she'll... Uh, Oh, holy cow. Listen to that. Jesus, that thing fucking purrs like a kitten. Listen to that thing, fellas. That thing just purrs, man. Wow. Okay. So, unknown 462 valve out of a Crown Vic. I'm assuming a police car, man. Minty as fuck. Yeah. So, yeah, if 
fucking that thing ran runs fantastic no leaks so job well done everybody just took since november wow that engine runs great wow that engine is tremendous back on now is the mid pipe and exhaust and uh, should be uh, all right here man should see. gotta blade the cooling system out I forgot about that so I'll need some more cooling but uh, yeah so thanks for watching like, share, subscribe. My new camera will be here on Tuesday. Today is Sunday. I am excited. I will have a tripod and a camera on Tuesday. You will be seeing more videos from me with high definition quality, not any more. This will be one of my last cell phone videos. So you guys will be seeing some killer video with a camera and actual in-depth repairs. I am gonna go test drive this. Give it a quick shakedown. Once she warms up, still no leaking fluids. I'm happy about that. A quick list of the stuff I did to this car. If anybody wants to hear this, let me know, uh, or just keep listening. Um, basically, four tires and rims, rear pads, rotors, calipers, parking brake cables, all the parking brake brackets, the entire rear end is rebuilt, 430 gears, every bearing and seal is replaced in the rear end. I had to replace two studs in the back. Uh, it has all new lug nuts all the way around, uh, all new shocks, has new front struts, has four coil springs with isolators, has a coolant overflow tank, a battery, all new fluids, new clutch, uh, new shifter, um, new radio, um, upper and lower radiator hoses, the two bypass hoses, AC clutch and bearing assembly, um, flywheel, um, starter, um, oh, what else did I do to this thing? Um, thermostat, um, oh, coil packs spark plugs uh, it's got shorty headers I did to it it will have an off-road X pipe on it too um, I had to custom make this hose here for the breather to go to the intake um, yeah I got wiper blades for it yet front brakes the exhaust and then uh, the mid pipe which I have a mid pipe and exhaust I'll put on here for now um, there's no two sensors hooked up right now because there's no mid pipe so I will probably toss that on here actually tomorrow or tonight because I would like to know you know I mean the check engine light is not on yet but it definitely will be here shortly because like it's got an EGR delete on it too um, but yes this thing is just awesome now I want to see if these lights work Fog lights, do they work? Holy fuck, they do. Look at that shit. Fog lights and headlights work. It's also got window tints all the way around it. Somebody did really nice, real dark ones. I mean, you can't even see my hand in there because it's so dark. Um, sweet. All right, well, I'm going to let it warm up here. Um... And then I'm gonna go test drive, I'll get back to you guys once I'm done and give her the shakedown and see how she runs and drives. And then I uh, will talk to you. Please like, share, subscribe, I would definitely appreciate it. 
uh, lots more to come. Um, this project is almost complete. And then I'll have my tripod and my actual camera to do Project Grey Goose. This will be the next project we do here. Um, I got a fuel pump fork coming, so we'll get Project Grey Goose going. Blue Lightning here is good, and then Red Rocket here is almost good, so we'll uh, get all the new edges done. Yes, I do. If you're, if you're new to the channel, I do have four new edges, and then I have S197 back there that uh, is crashed that we're going to be fixing eventually, too. So thank you guys for checking out the channel. Like, share, subscribe. Mud Truck, we'll talk to you. I only get one picture for this uh, video quick, so video's over. I'm just taking a picture with the camera on.